Welcome back to another video, guys. Day six of foot misses here. Let's go ahead and see who EA thought was a good idea would to drop today. Um, as you can see, Diego Carlos, as I mentioned in the last video, we have not completed yet. So we get 84 rated Yusuf Atal, and we get 92 rated Luka Modric. Anything else? Anything in the foot miss tab? It looks like no. We still haven't gotten any more foot miss challenges. But uh, let's take a look at Atal. So he's going to require 183 and 184 rated squad with one team of the week. And he is 5'9", uh, high high, 5 star weak foot, 4 star skills. As you can see here, all around really good stats. Um, obviously he's got pace and he's got good stamina. If you need a League One right back again, like I said, I did Zanetti. I'll never need a right back again. Uh, Modric, I already see you. You need three squads to submit, so that's not looking too good. So Modric, 92 rated, four star, four star, high high. Um, good agility though. Good agility, good balance, good dribbling stats all around, good composure. But uh, definitely not. This card is definitely not for me. Uh, and it looks like it's going to require an 83, an 84, and an 82. So, two 84s and an 83. Uh, looking like a flake. Also, we need one more objective to complete Pagliatano. We only need to score two more games with a uh, player from this team. We already have one, as you can see. We need, just need two more, and then we get Pagliatano. I've been grinding this week. I've been doing them all, and I haven't packed anything from like, the player packs I got, but... Either way, that's not really why we do it. We do it for second Pagliatano. And I, I just need two more games to do it. So I'm not sure if these cards upgrade. I'm pretty sure they should. Yeah, as you can see, hold on to a group reward for an additional upgrade opportunity. So I wonder how EA is going to do that. But uh, I'm about to find out either way. Finally, we're back. Division Rivals, Foot Champions Rewards. Can EA finally give me a good red? It's been about four fucking weeks or five weeks, maybe over two months since I got a good red. My only good red was Di Maria. Besides that, they've all been fucking ass. But um, I'm taking tradable, of course. We finished rank one. I've been grinding. Like I said, I'm getting that Pugliatano. I'm so close to getting that Pugliatano. And for... Foot champions, we finished gold two this time. So I'm I'm leveling it up. I'm a little gold two warrior. But I just wanted to see maybe gold two is better than gold three. I don't know. I do get an extra fifteen thousand coins, which I do need. So uh, as you can see, we are untradeable. We are unassigned. So uh, I'm gonna see if my foot chance players show up. I doubt they will. I'm gonna exit out and come back real quick. Right guys, so unfortunately we couldn't open the red player picks because I am unassigned. So we're gonna have to wait to sell those players that I have on my unassigned list. So again, it is currently 30 seconds to one o'clock. Uh, another day, another day of foot miss. Let's see what, I, uh, today there hasn't been any leaks. So I wonder what EA is gonna bring out. Every day since the beginning there's been leaks, but this is the first day there that hasn't been a leak. The only leak I saw was uh, the marquee matchups SBC, which is going to feature um, Roma versus Milan, and then uh, Atlanta versus another Serie A team. And I invested in some Serie A discard golds. That's about it, really. Uh, besides that, there hasn't been leaks for today. Um, you know, there have been leaks that Suzuko is coming on the 21st, but it is only the 19th, so that's two days away. So it's currently 1 o'clock. Let's see who EA brought out. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. They brought out an 87 Havertz, and they brought out an 85 Goncalo Guedes. And we get Player of the Month for uh, League One. So we get this dude, Rene Adel Adelaide. Don't know how to say his name, but the stat, hey, those stats don't look bad. Let me see what it takes to complete them. Probably an 83. Yeah, 183 squad, so that might be a, a little card. We do a review on who knows. Again, Diego Carlos is still here. Let me go to the live tab to see if they brought the marquee matchups. Okay, so they brought out another um they brought out another uh, SBC. 
So we have just an 83 rated squad for this one. And one team of the week for... Ooh, this card looks crazy. So, Bolas... Bolasi? Bolas? Don't know how to say his name. But that card don't look bad. I might have to... I might have to cop. We got five days to do it. Again, like I said, marquee matchups. These were leaked. So... Um, I invested in some... I invested in some uh, Serie A discards. Again, the Chelsea leak was was also there. So, uh, discard uh, Italian players should be going up in price. I invested a good amount, so that, that should be fire. Again, the foot miss card. Let's go over. So, we have Havertz, which we all know is five star. I mean, four star, four star, medium, medium. Really a cam player. As you can see, those stats look crazy. Uh, one only one squad required. So let's see what EA thought Havertz was worth. One eighty five. Honestly, that's that's not bad. One eighty five for this Havertz. That's not bad. This Guedes, four star, four star, high medium, solid left winger in the uh, La Liga. Um, not the best agility, but again, he is five ten. So not the best stamina either, but not bad. Decent little strength on him. Uh, obviously, he's got pace, and he's got decent shooting, and decent passing. So, I'm saying like an 83 or an 84 for this one team of the week. Yeah, 183 and one team of the week. So, both of those, I feel like th both of those cards were really fairly priced because Havertz had an 86 inform, and he was like 100, but he was like 200K, and this 80, 185 rated squad is going to be like, what, 200, uh, like 100K maybe? For an 185, that shouldn't be that bad. Besides that, though, we're gonna go ahead and sell the players we invested in, of course. Onana, we'll see if he sells. I, I bought some Onanas, maybe he'll sell. I don't really know. Dude, you could have been out here making coins, bro. I'm making fucking bank right now. Right, guys, as you can see. Our foot champs rewards finally popped up. Our red player picks are finally here after selling a good amount, a good amount of stuff, as you can see. So let's see who we can get in our first red player pick. Second player pick. We get absolutely no one. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and open the packs. Let's see what we can pull here. Again, this is only six packs. Why the fuck do we only have six packs? I don't fucking know, but there better be some heat in here. Better pack a team of your nominee. That's all I'm gonna say.
you just gotta... So there we have it guys, um, we finally completed the Politanio objective, as you can see, the last player that we needed to score, scored in this game, we tied, but again, we don't need to win with this challenge, we just need to score in separate games. So we ended up finishing Politano finally, uh, I wonder when he's going to get an upgrade, it should be sometime soon, I mean this card came out like two months ago I think. So. Hey, hey, get on that shit, upgrade. I mean, you need to upgrade for this card already, even though I haven't even used it. Maybe he's that good, he doesn't even need an upgrade. But we gotta see, we're gonna try him out this weekend league. We're gonna bench the Maria this time, and see uh, what this Poliatano talking about. So as you can see, all objectives have been done. We also get a two players pack for completing it. And here he is, I'm not sure if he walks out, I doubt it. Yeah, I was about to say, I doubt it. But as you can see, the card, 5'7", high, medium, 4 star, 4 star, 91 pace, 85 shooting, 84 passing, 88 dribbling, and 91 stamina. Like, this card just looks amazing. 
So that's that. Um, this permutator player can go straight to fucking hell. I'm never gonna do this card. Uh, there's literally hazard. There's both hazards that are like, what? Why would I ever go do that bullshit? And there's multiple cards that are way better than that. And the links he provides are ass. At least Poliatano is. Like, if that Trissard was English, okay, he provides English links in the Premier League. Okay, that makes sense. But he doesn't. He's Belgium, and he's from the shit team versus Poliatano. He's from literally a top, the sec, the best team in the Serie A right now. And from the 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 um the nation that Serie A is based upon, fucking Italy. He's Italian. So, so this is the squad we used to complete him. Um, I just tried out this Hazard. I don't know. I was just throw him in here. I had bought him a minute ago. He was just collecting dust in the club. But let's get him the fuck out of the team. And let's put in Poliatano. Uh, now the thing is, what chem stuff should I run? I think I'm going to put on a uh, dead eye, most likely. Most likely a dead eye. Since he already has high agility. And I want his shooting to just be increased so much. So probably dead eye. There he is with a dead eye chem style. As you can see, his finishing goes up to 98. His passing all gets increased. His shooting, it, bro, like this card has to be amazing. 91 stamina, too. That's end game stamina with 71 aggression. All right, guys. So, as you can see, we're 1.7 million coins deep in the club. And uh, I went completely liquid. I don't trust EA at all. Prime icons could drop today, and that might affect the market in ways that we've never seen before. And they might drop another promo, and I, I just said, fuck that, I'm going liquid. As you can see, though, majority of our team is still here, though, and, and we have 1.7 mil. Uh, that's how deep I was invested. Um, unfortunately, uh, I wasn't able to sell this bender because Player of the Month Warner came out, and he didn't require fucking informs. Like, why would you not require informs? So, uh, Bender is still sort of invested. Uh, he might rise with the SBC that we're at today. Or eventually, he's going to rise eventually. Like, an 83 rated right back, German right back from Bundesliga. Like, and it's, it's art. This is already too low. So, the fact that it's getting lower, it's, it's crazy. So, um,. Besides that, the Team of the Year nominees, like uh, as you saw in the clips before, I invested basically 800k into those and flipped them all today for at least every card was honestly like, well, the higher tier cards were like five to 10k profit each. So I was actually really good. I mean, the lower tiers were like at least at least three or five k. Either way, it's profit. Like profit, it don't matter. How much profit it is at the end of the day it's profit right so Havertz um uh still here because i feel like he'll rise a lot and if he doesn't rise he's not gonna go much low he can't his the lowest he can go is 10k literally like that's the lowest he can go like if i were to quick sell him he goes for 10k so i bought him for 12 so it's just like a safe investment but uh besides that enough about me let's talk about the game right so we're we're uh about two or three minutes away from uh, one o'clock, so I don't know what EA is going to drop. But the new season came out, and this is all that they brought out. So we get a coin boost, we get this, we get a couple packs, we get this shit jersey. Well, it's not that, that bad. We get Zidane on loan for seven games, we get another pack, we get some bullshit ass little um, these things. I don't know what they are. Another pack. We get this foot miss card though for free. All you got to do is get 9,000 XP. He doesn't look terrible. I mean, I would never use him, but he doesn't look... That's a free card, you know? Of A, you can't argue with free. Uh, we also got these um, interesting shit, and we got this. I don't know what... I'm, I think I'm going to get to take the deer once I get here. Like, what does a deer have to do with Christmas? I don't know, but EA smoking something, bro. The, another pack there. We also get this ball uh, skin. I mean, I I don't know. We also get the 86 Kazorla. Five star, five star, high, low. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, it's free. It's a free 86. What can I say? We also get this celebration, which I don't think I've ever seen before. It's Snow Angel. Maybe it's been in FIFA before. I don't remember, though. We get that. Uh, we get another pack. We get this kind of whack. We get this whack. So, 
the excess, like the accessory, like the it's whack. Like this, this is ass. The another pack, but this is where it gets good. So the two, we get two players. We get Parasic and we get Bashwai. These cards don't look that bad. Like these cards actually look good, and they're finally 87 rated. So Bashwai is coming in at five stars, five star weak foot, four star skills, six foot one medium low with these stats, and Parasic is coming in at a five star weak for four star skills, medium, medium, six for one as well. And uh, with these stats. I say they're both pretty even to be honest. But it's currently one o'clock. Let's go see what EA brought out today in the SBCs. Again, it's still foot miss. It's day fucking 20 of foot miss. I don't even know what day we're on right now. So we get a Rebic card, four star, four star. Okay, this card don't, this card don't look bad. This card don't look bad. Croatian from Milan. I might have to cop this card. We run a Serie A squad. Good physical on him. Only requires one squad. Let's see who... Who... 185. So Rebic. I like that card. I like that card. We also get De Gea. Footmas De Gea. I mean... That's that's a big pass for me. I'll be all right. It depends how much it is though. 184 to squad, but I'll be all right. I'm good on that. So we also get um, Jetson Fernandez. Uh, Road to the final card. Not bad. Again, these upgrade. So if Benfica go far, this might be a card. It depends how much it is though. For an 81 rated, it should be like an 82 rated squad, right? 83 max, no higher than 83. 82. I might have to pick up that card just in case Benfica do some crazy shit. Um, and we finally got a fucking foot miss challenge. About time. De Gea and Rebic. That's the I. Hey, that's I. I'm I fuck with this card right here. Four star, four star, 93 pace. Slap a sniper on him. He don't look bad. He already got physical. He got decent stamina. I'm going to have to cop this card. 85 rated. I mean, it's not like we're struggling for coins. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we need any coins. But uh, my question is, did EA release... Oh, okay, they did. They did. They did. So, Primes are finally in packs. Okay, we also got a new objective player. We got left back Rusilian, um from Bundesliga. And we got Prime Icons that are in packs now. Yo, they flexing on us. All the primes are finally in packs. 96 Zidane, 96 Ronaldo. All the new, there's a bunch of new icons though, which I'm, I'm trying to try. Well, we already got, we already got, where he at? 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 He's in the second row, Zanetti. We in the second row, right next to Hullet. So he is, so I'm guessing Zanetti's the highest rated uh, 92. Bro, I swear to God, if this motherfucker walks out, that's what I fucking thought. EA, an 81 is gonna walk out, but my D Marie doesn't walk out. That's tough. Store him in the club and forget about him until he gets upgraded. There we have it. Hernandez, our left back. It's going to be our left back we're going to use this weekend league and probably for a good minute. Oh, this card looks crazy, bro. This card really looks crazy. Now you're probably wondering how do I already have one in my team? Um, I had bought one earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and sell that. Yeah, fuck you. Overpaid, over, overpaid for Theo Hernandez's own bake. So the team is looking like this. Um, we sold uh, Ter Stegen, team of the group stage, and we're gonna just pick up his gold. And we gotta still go do that uh, Rebic SBC. I think I'm gonna go do that um, right now because I want I, I want to try him out. And uh, if I run him at center mid, he'll get the link to. Ramagnoli since they're both in Milan. So I'm gonna go get your Stegen and I'm gonna go do that. Finish that Rebic SBC.
There we have it. That's going to be the SBC complete. Submit for Anti Rebic. I don't even know how to say his name. Anti Rebic. Rebic. Hey, this car's about to look crazy. And <laughs> let's see him walk out. Again, my D money didn't walk out. EA fixed that shit right fucking now. So there's a card, as you can see, 93 pace, 85 shooting, 85 dribbling, 86 physical, <laughs> like slap a sniper on him, this card's about to be insane. Um, not sure how much we spent, it was probably like 70k that we spent, uh, so not bad, I had some untradables, had that Luis Alberto untradable. Now we gotta go pick up Ter Stegen. So 36 stock there, um, again Ter Stegen is a card that is way worth more than 36k, but. Now, I really wish I could upgrade this right card, but since we opened them in that base icon pack, it's like, bro, I can't sell, I, I can't sell them if I wanted to. So I feel like sometimes he does let me down in games because that low stamina really does come into play if the game goes into extra time or just even if it goes into the 90th minute. Like, he's dead on stamina. So um, I don't know, maybe for, for now he'll be all right. But obviously, eventually, we're going to have to upgrade. Like, we have to upgrade him. Like, he's definitely not a card you're going to have. I'm not going to have. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and go into this next year with him. But I'm going to have to replace him soon. I don't know with who. And I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I think I'm going to just throw him in the club and just keep him there as memory or something. I don't know. But um, definitely needs to be upgraded sooner than, rather than later all right so this is how the team is gonna line up as you can see we finally added Revic uh, as you can see he gets the Milan link to Romagnoli that I was saying earlier so Romagnoli is on full cam Ter Stegen's on full cam everyone is on full cam except for PK but I feel like PK is the type of player that does not need full cam to be OP like this card is already OP by itself so PK on a cam was more than fine this is going to be our bench. Di Maria, of course. Can't forget about Di Maria. Di Maria Insigne. Insigne is still a club legend. Um, I knew from the day I got this card, this card was going to be nasty. And I've, it's it's all been true. But this card can bang in gold left and right. Dembele, of course, 5-star, five 5-star. Five star, uh, very Probably the best 84 rated in this game. So, Rebic new is signing. Rebic and Theo Hernandez, the Milan boys. Romagnoli, I mean, I guess I'm trying him out too. Actually, I haven't tried him out, so yeah. I feel like I've tried him out since because I've bought him before, but I didn't play him. I bought him just to trade him. So I feel like I've used him before, but I haven't. So I don't know if he's good or not. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out if Romagnoli's good. We're going to find out if Fernandez is good. We're going to find out if Rebic is good. And we're going to find out if Politano is good. Three day, this is going to be four debuts happening. Poliatano, Rebic, and Romagnoli and Theo Hernandez all going to be debuting. I'm going to be, be... I'm very honest with my reviews, so... If they perform, if they perform, then uh, they're obviously staying. If not, they're getting the fuck out of my team. But uh, as you can see, PK has clearly been performing as he has not been kicked out the team. Ter Stegen's still solid here. Zanetti is not like I could get rid of him, but he has been f performing. Mertens, I mean, we don't have to say much about Mertens. We already know about Mertens. The four star, four star, high, low, it's 95 games, 74 goals, 52 assists. Quincy Promise just hit 300 games, 100 goals. Right, guys, so I was just playing a game, and all of a sudden, PK wanted to fuck around and get a red, right? So, can't run Ter Stegen on no chem. So, this is what I ended up doing. I ended up putting on Mario. He has a link to Romagnoli, all Serie A. And then I was like, yo, I need a Serie A goalkeeper. And I've tried Donnarumma um, before the patch, so I don't know. But I'm going to go through every Serie A goalie and try them all fucking out because Syria needs a OP goalie. Syria needs a goalie desperately. They need Buffon flashback. EA, flashback Buffon, now. I hope.
funny if you just saw a juggernaut load up. So guys, after playing 13 games with Rebic, as you can see, the goals scored speak for themselves. 13 games, 14 goals, 8 assists. This guy is a fucking goal scoring machine, bro. Dead ass. Like, this card is nasty. Like, Mertens is holding his own, right? Mertens can score goals, banging goals left and right. But the thing about Mertens is that he plays exactly like everyone else. Uh, all the meta... Uh, Serie A strikers. Mertens, Insignia, Politano, Gomez, they all play the same. They're all small, they're all four star, four star, they're all agile, and they all got good acceleration. The, the thing I need was lacking though was a fucking tank, although it was a fucking like wall, dude, up front though. I got my wall in the back. I got my Romagnoli, I got my Murillo, I got Zanetti Hernandez on the wings, but. I needed a wall up front and this Rebic bro yo look at that strength and aggression bro I need that aggression I need that motherfucking aggression as a striker so this Rebic is fucking amazing dude he's got the Milan jersey he's got the Croatian links high medium four star four star six foot one so if 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 headers ever become meta again, he's got he can he can out jump a motherfucker. He can out body a motherfucker with that aggression and that strength. And he's got some stamina on him too, bro. Not just dude. This man, bro. The, the goals you guys just saw speak for themselves. Like this dude is nasty. Now for Poliatano, 13 games, two goals, three assists. Now, in his defense, he was not playing striker. He was playing out wide, and out wide is the is like the least the position where you don't get as much action like you get the pat poliatano and zanetti maybe they have the interconnection but um i know for sure when d marie and zanetti were playing d marie and zanetti understood each other well and poliatano i think he's getting there something i have noticed with poliatano is that his pace doesn't feel like 90. i don't know what it is but like whenever i got the ball with him and i try to just fucking be out like it didn't feel like 90 it didn't feel like 90 acceleration it felt like sprint speed like he could get low once he like started to go but that 92 acceleration did not feel like 92 um his dribbling like i said like look he's five foot seven high medium four star four star this looks these looks like if you were to not if you were to just show these stats and you would just like ask who it was you would think it was either mertens insignia like they all play and look the same that's why I needed a Rebic. That's why I wasn't wanting to pick up Ronaldo so bad because I needed that. I needed someone with some height. I needed someone with some strength. I needed someone with some fucking dribbling, some shooting, everything. But they needed it all. And this Rebic does that for me. So unless he gets an upgraded, unless he gets a better version, I'm keeping this foot miss for a minute, bro. Super sub, whatever, dude. But I'm fucking with this little Serie A side. I, I knew it from the beginning of the year. Before the year started, I want to make a Serie A side. And uh, as you can see, the squad is looking nice. Zanetti used to play for Inter Milan. Rijkaard used to play for Milan. The only one that doesn't have Serie A um, history or is currently in the Serie A is Promise. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he never played in Serie A. But Promise is the only exception because uh syria left wingers are so limited so that's gonna wrap up this episode as you can see we got nine wins of foot champions on a friday so that's i'll be fine with that um i played like 13 games so i'm nine in like two or three so i'm fine with that for now again i'm not going for a fucking elite um if it happens it happens but i'm definitely not forcing it to happen you know what i mean the less you force it the easier it'll come so um, if we get goal two again, I'm fine with that. If we get goal three, if we get goal one, I'm fine with that. I'm just not, like, weekend league, I'm definitely not stressing about it. Like, whatever happens, happens. I ain't worried about um, winning every game. I'm playing as good as I can, right? 
but, but with, if cheese happens, bro, I don't let it get to me because that's just going to turn my mood the other way around. And it's going to make me play even worse. So that's going to be the episode. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to do that anti-rebbage.